Hey friends, hope everybody is doing well today. So today is August 1st, 2013, and it's probably been oh, a good couple months or better since I did a true video. I got caught up in a move and uh, kind of settled in now, been working a lot. So in the meantime, I have gathered quite a few new knives. So I thought I'd do, oh, just a quick review of a few things. And then maybe later on, I'll make individual videos of knives that I've gotten. Um, hell, where do I start? There's, uh, I guess Chris Reeve is my main collectible knives and I've gotten several different Chris Reeves in. Um, we'll start with a Blade HQ exclusive. This is a Sabenza 21 with carbon fiber inlays. There's been a lot of buzz on the forums recently about them. Great knives. There's not much more you can say about the 21. This particular one, like I said, it has carbon fiber inlays. Handle is polished, semi-polished. Blade is satin finished. Some of the hardware, thumb stud, standoff, lanyard, pin, all blue. Great detent on it. Awesome knife. Love it. Was carrying it for a long time. And then I had to, when it came out, I was dying for it in single version, which I didn't even know was really coming. So I went ahead and picked that up. Carbon fiber. Now the difference being, uh, other than this is a small and it's an in single, the blade is actually stone washed on this one, which I like a lot better. And I'll tell you, my pet peeves, or one of my pet peeves, are a detent, strong detent. I have never had a stronger detent on any Chris Reed product. I mean, almost so much that I, I mean, I, I wouldn't send it back, but I mean, it's just fantastic. Fantastic. Great little knife. Put my own lanyard on there. I went to, uh, I don't know if it's Joanne Fabric or Michaels or some shit like that. My girlfriend likes to go to those places. I was looking around and found some cord, kind of light. It's cool looking. It's like a nylon uh, mesh, very thin. Sorry if the uh, focus is probably picking up the background more. Anyhow. So we got that. And then, just the other day, Back yesterday, I got a tie lock. Got it off a forum mate. His name is Humble Rodent on Blade Forums. Great guy. Um, not quite sure why he wanted to part with it. He gave it to me at a really good cost because these are a little overpriced as far as I'm concerned for a Chris Reed product. You know, when you compare it to the likes of, uh, you know, embellished Sabenzas or whatever. But um, there's a lot of work done in, you know, put into these things. I wasn't excited when I very first saw the tie lock at a blade show quite a few years ago. Um, but it's grown on me. I actually really do like it. I thought about even putting it on a Sabenza. And you can put a regular Sabenza clip on this too if you choose. So it's got the lock bar uh, interface on it. Works really well. It's almost, uh, some people would say it's more of a, a medium Sabenza because when you compare it to a large, it's, the blade length is, is really close. It, it might be not even a quarter inch shorter, but you have a smaller frame because there's no lock inside to have to interfere with it. So you have more handle to blade ratio, which makes the knife, you know, pretty long. It's like three and a quarter inch. You can choke up on it. I guess my only, um, quarrel about the knife is the handle is short in this position and so if they made it a little bit longer they could have put a deeper choil here to allow you to choke up on the knife uh, without risk of slipping and you know the inevitable happening so tie lock though is a nice knife I like it um, I've learned to unlock it two-handed this way 
So it is a true one-handed knife. Nice. And then I started getting